So the drive-in opened August 6, 1950. It was originally the lead drive-in. Uh, 1957, Siebert and Effie Hall bought the drive-in, renamed it to what it's currently called Hull's Drive-In. They ran it until 1997. Before the 1998 season opened, Mr. Hull passed away, and his wife then sold the drive-in to W.D. Goad, who owns the Goad's Body Shop next door to us. He ran it for the 1998 season. At the end of the season, the drive-in needed a lot of upgrades, it was going to be very costly, and he was planning on not reopening the drive-in. Some of the community members uh, said, we can't have that happen, we don't want to lose our drive-in. So they started getting groups together to find out what they could do to try to save the drive-in. And they figured the best way to do it was to go nonprofit. Well, they had to start off with a name, so they came up with the name The Hull's Angels. Uh, partially because Mr. Hull would always refer to all his fans as his angels. But this is our this is our baby, this is our digital projector. This is what does all the magic and puts the picture up on the screen. Down here, this is our server. Um, our movies actually come in. Instead of the big reels that they used to come in, come in on a hard drive now. <laughs> That's this is the jungle book. So a whole movie is on there, and it's actually got a couple different versions of the movie. So it's got our open caption, the closed captioning, um, any of the trailers that it wants. And what we do is we download it into this, this is our server. Um, and once it's in the server, we'll build a playlist. And the playlist will go from there up into the projector. And the projector will decode it, because it all basically comes encoded. So it's like if you took that home, plugged it into your computer, you wouldn't get anything. You have to have a digital key to unlock it. That's all goes into the projector. So that once it's ready to go, we just turn it on and it puts the picture up on the screen. In 2000, they reopened the drive-in for a first full season as the first nonprofit community-owned drive-in in the nation. For the last 16 years, the drive-in's been operating as a nonprofit. Um, we've done. We've done a lot of work to keep, keep the drive-in going and keep it go and making plans to keep going for hopefully another 66 years. Drive-ins are unique. And one thing uh, about drive-ins that are unique over the indoor theaters is that uh, it provides a retro experience. Uh, in the valley, you've got the halls driving and you've got the family driving that both use speakers. Um, here we go, there's a new one now. Um, these just came in uh, this year that he bought the mold. There's no one making speakers anymore except for this guy. And he, he predominantly does this for the classic car industry. Family Driving Theater is 60 years old this year. Uh, in 2016, it was actually uh, opened on June 14th of uh, 1956. And so we're celebrating our 60th year. Originally, it was a one-screen driving. Uh, all movie theaters had to switch from analog, which is the 35 millimeter film, to digital. And it was a real struggle for uh, small town theaters which still there's a lot of small town theaters that haven't switched. And also for several drive-ins, there's about a hundred drive-ins that have not switched to digital. So we had to switch to digital in order to survive. Uh, we had a fundraising campaign that helped us from the community that actually helped us with the down payment on the digital. And we have two digital projectors, um, about $140,000 worth of investment. And uh, it's, uh, it's really, it makes the digital quality, it is, the picture is clear. Good evening and welcome to the Family Drama Theater tonight. We thank each and every one of you for coming out here. On We're all happy that it's not raining. You've got a great show ahead of you tonight.